Hey guys, I hope you're all well. So today I am going to be doing a sort of sit down, more chatty video, not a vlog, although I am going to be working throughout this video. So it's the week after semester one hand in for my uni project and the last vlog I forgot to film anything of that because it was just so stressful. This is a picture of what my mini looked like with all of mine and Lizzie's work shoved in it to take to uni. So yeah that was stressful but it's all done and it's still in uni so at some point I'm gonna have to go and collect it which is gonna be even worse because I'm really enjoying having a nice tidy room right now with not much in it. <laughs> this week I have just been tidying out my room completely. I had fabric stored underneath my bed and I just went through it all with my mum. She came down for a day and then I went back home for a few days but she helped me take a load to charity or like schools for like their textile departments so that I don't because there's so much fabric that I'm not going to use and obviously I kept all of the usable pieces of fabric that are like quite big and that I could make something in after uni maybe. So yeah it feels so good to know that I have room under my bed for more fabric because I'm going to need to be sourcing fabric for six outfits which is going to be insane. <laughs> but I'm really excited for this because this is the final push of uni. I actually can't believe I'm in third year and this is my final collection now. Like semester one has just flown by. So yeah, I have a little sketchbook here that I picked up from Amazon. I always use pink pig sketchbooks that have the little pigs in but I always rip this page out because otherwise they tell you off at uni for leaving it in. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be just doing some print designs whilst I film this video. When I did A-levels I did graphics and I used to do prints all the time and then I just stopped and now I think it would be nice to bring some prints back into my final collection and make my fabrics more my own. Obviously most of them won't be my own and because it's so expensive to get your fabric printed. You can do it through our uni but I can't remember how much it is. It's quite expensive and there's a website that you can use and it's like £40 per meter. <laughs> the cheapest way to do it would be to sublimation print which is where they print off like an A3 um, piece of paper and it's got your print on it and you can like heat press it down but then you have to match it up and then it fades every time you print so it's just not not what I want to do. But perhaps if I had like a big floral piece I could sublimation print that piece onto a chosen fabric. That could work. So I've got all my papers that I've already put paint colour onto so I'm just gonna create a nice little palette of colours first and then just start chopping. So while I'm waiting for my laptop to load I'm going to look some of the questions you guys have been asking or the assumptions you guys think about me which I was very interested to know so I feel like there's a lot of my life that I just don't share and um, I don't think I should share anymore but yeah I just thought it'd be interesting to see what you guys thought someone thinks I'm an introvert quite a lot of people think I'm an introvert and they would be correct I've always just liked having my own space being on my own I think because a lot of the stuff I do is creative I just like to be in my own little hub of creativity and just like I love spending time with my friends obviously but there's just times when I just want to be on my own and I'm happy to spend a whole day on my own yeah so I am definitely an introvert that is for sure you never get angry, you are a very calm person. Um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously in general I'm a very calm person, but sometimes things make me very angry inside, and only my very close friends will know what makes me angry. <laughs> There's not like one thing that makes me angry, it's just general rudeness makes me very angry, or when people are late, or I don't know, just only some things make me angry but in general I am not an angry person because I just don't see the point in getting angry about lots of things because um, life goes on you know someone else thinks that I want to have children in the future 
I do. I definitely want to have children. I've always always been a very sort of maternal person if I can look after something or someone I will <laughs> definitely want to have children in the future like if I was with someone that didn't want to have children I'd be like bye I mean I don't want children that soon like <laughs> but whenever I talk about children my mum's like oh yeah have some soon <laughs> I'm like no mum so yeah definitely got to be with the right man Oh gosh, these bits are very small to cut out. Why did I do this? Ugh. You like romantic films? I do. But I don't really watch that many romantic films anymore. I just generally... I think because when I'm watching stuff, I'm often doing work, so I try not to get too distracted. But if I'm watching... I have to be really in the mood for a romantic film these days. Um, and in general, I'm literally just watching Friends at the moment because that's all I fancy watching. <laughs> it's just so easy to watch and now that I've watched the whole thing I know what happens in each episode so it's not like I have to watch it like constantly. Whereas when I'm working if I'm watching something I haven't seen before I can't not look at the screen so it actually distracts me even more. I've had a lot of questions saying that I am rich. <laughs> And I am not rich, but I don't feel comfortable talking about money situations, so I'm not going to really talk about that. And lots of people think my family is really posh, and we are not posh. Especially if you put me next to a posh, posh person, you'd be like, she's not posh. <laughs> I'm just well spoken. You have all your life planned. <laughs> that could not be more wrong. Um, I have, like, obviously... I have an idea in my head of what I'd love my life to go like um, but it's kind of scary right now in this position of like about to finish uni lots of people are already looking at jobs and I would love to just make YouTube my career um, but then also like I have this other bit of me that's like oh I'd love to work in fashion but then like, I, I loved my internship, but I also hated my internship, so I don't know, I'd need to go and have some more experience in the fashion industry if I were to go back into that. But at the moment, the plan is, after uni, to move home and got a whole renovation sort of thing planned for when I go home, because basically we've got the... T the our house can kind of be split up into two, so we're planning on making like a little sort of area for me, my brother and sister to live when we come back from uni or like when my sister and brother finish uni um, to live away from our parents. It's not having to buy or rent somewhere else because renting is so expensive and I'd much rather save for a mortgage so that is the plan for that and then I'm going to just make it as youtuber friendly as possible and make loads of amazing content because I'm gonna have all this creative energy still and I'm just gonna want to bleh it into something so I'm gonna bleh it into YouTube <laughs> I also really really want to get more into just fashion imagery just creating really cool like outfit shots on my Instagram really building up my Instagram and yeah I just think you know like my from my experience of being at an internship and working normal job and not even being paid <laughs> um, YouTube definitely just like it's just the perfect job and I just think I would be so stupid not to try and at least make it into something amazing because you only live once and you just got to do what you want to do and I'm really lucky that I have such supportive parents and family that would let me do that. But lots of you guys say you want to see more content about like making garments and I'd love to make videos about like the different stages of making a dress or like really basic pattern cutting because before I started fashion here 
at uni I thought that you had to follow those horrible patterns that you buy that are like commercial patterns and the paper is just so flimsy that they rip everywhere <laughs> and I just I hated them so much and then I came to uni and you're just not allowed to use them and you have to make your own things up and it's actually pretty easy once you know how to do it so I'd love to just share more on how how it works and how to do it um, so let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in I was really worried because I don't really like talk much and I don't like talking I'm the type of person that will only say something if it's worth saying and I get really anxious about filming these sorts of videos because I'm like that's a really loud truck because <laughs> I get really anxious that I'm not going to have anything to say also, I realised the other day, these scissors have done me so well. I've had them since, like, before GCSE, like, year seven, and they are just the best little paper scissors. Someone assumed that you voted against Brexit. I did. <laughs> I just think it was a silly idea, and I'm just not even... I'm just so not into politics right now and I'm just trying not to think about anything to do with Brexit. Someone else has assumed that I have a lot of friends and I would say I have quite a few friends but I wouldn't really, I don't really meet up with a lot of my friends all the time. I, I keep very close friends and um, my main friends are like the people I live with. <laughs> so it's very easy to stay in contact with them because I live with them. Yeah, I would say I have loads of friends I just like to know the people I can trust and like have a small little group of friends that I can depend on. Someone assumed that I am ambitious and I would say that's true. I think I always have an idea in my head about something and I will go and do it. So yeah, I think I am ambitious and I think I actually can't believe sometimes that I did three months unpaid work over summer. <laughs> I did not have a summer this year, last year. And that was just to get the experience of being in fashion. So that if I did want to go into working in fashion, that I would have that sort of backup to show on my CV. Someone else has assumed that I eat really healthy and work out. <laughs> I try to eat healthy. That is definitely something I am working on, <laughs> but I do work out now. Start of second year at uni, I um, started to work out and go to the gym. And more recently, my sister has taken me on a, a two or three runs. Two or three runs? Two runs. <laughs> it's only been two runs. But yeah, I was going to get into running, but I'm not sure if I'm going to love it. Completely. Not sure it's for me, um, but I I like going to the gym. It's like I've always had this horrible fear of going to the gym, um, and it still takes quite a lot for me to go to the gym on my own. Um, so I like to go with friends. My camera just stopped recording, so I was talking too long. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, going to the gym. I've been going to the gym. <laughs> Oh, I might do a gym, like, lookbook or, like, what I wear to the gym, because I'd like to do that. Although the other day I went wearing this, like, fluorescent long sleeve top that I found from home. Um, that's, like, a sport, sporty one. I got it in Primark. And I have never seen anything so bright. I think I must have been the brightest thing in the gym. And then, obviously, my ginger hair, and it just, like... Pfft. Someone has assumed that I am a rural girl at heart. And I am. I cannot wait to move back to the countryside. I just, I don't know what it is. I guess I just feel safe and homey in the countryside. When my friends talk about how they like can't wait to live in London, and I'm just like, well, I can't wait to have my own house in the countryside. <laughs> That's the dream is to have like a massive house in the countryside with my little children, my gorgeous husband. <laughs> that is the dream. So, <laughs> if anyone wants to join me in my dream, <laughs> you're welcome. 
Okay, I might do one more. Someone has assumed I am very organised. And I think I am reasonably organised. I know people that are a lot more organised than me. <laughs> but I am kind of quite organised. I think it's just been drilled into me from primary school to be organised. Because I remember Mr Travis always used to bang on about being organised. And it just must have stuck in my head because now I, I'm always worried about not being organised. So, good old Mr Travis. Someone assumed that I don't party very often. And I do not. Because I have no time to party. <laughs> Someone also asked a question about me drinking alcohol and they kind of go hand in hand. Like I was talking to my flatmate Lizzie the other day about how I can't believe I haven't had a, like any alcohol in nearly a year, which is insane. <laughs> but I feel, I feel great. And I've been to many a party where I haven't had alcohol and I've been fine. Um, I probably will start drinking alcohol again, but um, Alcohol used to make me feel so sick. Um, I'd throw up quite a lot from alcohol and then I'd be depressed for like three days afterwards because it would really depress me. And I definitely just don't need a depressant right now in third year. It's not good for my mental health. So I, yeah, I'm an advocate of not drinking right now. <laughs> I have nothing against people that drink alcohol. Um, Think you're very lucky that you can drink alcohol and not be sick all the time or really depressed <laughs> so yeah that's just my view on alcohol <laughs> someone said that you've already got a fashion line that celebs are wearing i can see it <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> someone's just asked you ever wear green someone thinks i got straight a's at school i did not someone said i don't have a good taste in guys it's not very nice. Early morning person. I'm a morning person, but not early, early morning. I did not go to a private school. Nope. Oh, this is really sweet. Someone said, I think that you might be the type of person to be loving towards everyone you meet. That's so sweet. I'd like to think that's true. <laughs> I try and be nice to everyone, but I'm also quite a quick judge of character. <laughs> You'd choose boots over fancy heels any day. Oh yeah, boots or trainers. Yeah, I think the rest are just quite similar, so I might end there. I've been talking for quite some time as well. But if you guys have any more burning questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below um, or assumptions about me. I was really surprised I didn't have any more horrible ones. Um, I didn't really have any horrible ones, apart from about boys, but I'm not gonna answer those, because I'm not a gossip. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. My print design has gone as far as some little squiggles cut out, basically. <laughs> I would show you, but then it would tip everything off the page. So I'm going to continue with this, and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to start a new weekly vlog straight after this, so you will have a weekly vlog to look forward to after this video goes up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.